Hey, I'm Emiliano, el maestro, and I'm here to give you a music lesson for non-musicians. You love music, but you don't know much about it. Well, here's a way to deepen your experience with the music that you listen to and love so much. So today, we're going to talk about songs, and we're going to talk about listening. And we're going to do it in three different categories. We're going to go basic, we're going to go detailed, and we're going to go advanced. And this will help you enjoy the music that you listen to much more. All right, so let's talk about songs. Now, the first thing you want to understand about songs, this is at the basic level, you want to know the song title. I know. You, you listen to songs all the time, but you got to know the song title. So when you have a song, look up the title of it, whether you're listening to your songs on Spotify, on YouTube, on a CD collection or a vinyl collection. Look at the name of the song and memorize the name of that song so that when you hear it, you recognize the title. Right. Another thing you want to do, the second thing, and that will be to know the name of the artist that does the song. All right, the artist, the band, or the group name. Know the name of the artist as well as the name of the song. And the third thing in the basic level is these songs are usually compiled onto some kind of album, some kind of uh, group of songs. All right, uh, now a lot of people today listen to music on Spotify or YouTube one song at a time, but these songs usually are released as a collection by the artist. Okay collection of 12 to 15 tunes and what we call an album of songs all right so the three things are know the song title know the artist and know the album title that these songs come from all right in our next section of songs we're going to go into details and some of the details that you can learn to help you understand more about the music is learn the band members names or the group members names every band or group has a list of people that play the music or that sing the music with the group so know these people's names that's the first thing the second thing is know these members positions in the band or group so each, if it's a band you're listening to, each person is gonna play a different instrument. You're gonna have a drummer, you're gonna have a bass player, a guitarist, possibly a piano player, lead singer. Know these people's names and their positions that they do in the band. If you have a singing group, you might have a trio, you might have a quintet. So know all the people in that singing group and what their main focus is. This person sings the high notes, this person sings the low notes. This person is the front person. This person does the backup singing, this kind of thing. All right, and the third thing you can do to deepen your experience with music is to know who writes the songs. That's right, who are the songwriters? Sometimes it's people in the band, sometimes it's people in the singing group, and sometimes it's other songwriters. So knowing this will give you good details to know in songs. All right, and the next thing about songs that you can learn in the advanced section is one, what record label are these songs on? That's right, each record label has a roster of artists, so you can learn some of the other artists that are on this record label too, and the entire catalog of songs that are going on this record label. The second thing you can learn about is who's the producer of the song or record album that you're listening to. Some producers just give the money and let the artist work it out in the studio. Other producers really sit there and musically direct the band. Play this faster, play this slower, play this louder, play this quieter, do a break here, do some hits there. And that's more musical direction and that's a different kind of producer. And the third thing that you can do is learn about what studio the band or group is recording in. Now this kind of goes hand in hand with the record label because usually a record label will have a main studio that they usually work in. But this is not always the case. Some record labels will rent a different studio in different parts 
of the country or the world because these studios have a different sound and a different vibe. Sometimes they'll even rent a place that's not a music studio, like a big house or a a farm out in the country and they'll set up a music studio in these places because it gives the artist a certain vibe to be able to make their music. Right, but with, if you learn these three things about songs, you have very advanced knowledge. And the next thing you can learn about is how to listen to songs. So this whole section is about listening and we're going to go through the basic, the detailed, and the advanced concerning listening to songs. So while listening to songs, on the basic level, one of the things that you can do is focused listening. All right, now definitely when you listen to songs, you put them on while you're driving, you put them on while you're cooking or maybe cleaning the house, that's fine. But that's not focused listening. What you wanna do is put the song on and sit there or lie there and listen to the music closely. You want to take notice of how the singers sing, of how the instruments play, of how fast or slow the song is, just all the different characteristics of the song, but listen to it without distractions. Focus listening. The second thing you can do to enhance your listening is get yourself a set of headphones. All right, now, no earbuds. Earbuds go inside the ear. They are notorious for not getting great sound. You need a set of headphones that covers your entire ear, all right? Now, you don't need to get them this big. They do make smaller ones that cover your entire ear, all right? But this definitely helps with the focused listening. And when you put on headphones that cover your entire ear, you'll all of a sudden hear the bass notes much more, the low notes, all right? Which are difficult to hear if you have an earbud uh, in your ear. So get yourself a set of headphones. And the third thing you can do uh, on the basic level of listening is pull up the lyrics of the song while you're listening to it, all right? And sing along with the lyrics. And the goal here is memorization of the lyrics. So read the lyrics as you're listening to the song, memorize the lyrics. So the next time you hear that song, you can kind of sing along with it a little bit. All right, let's get into some more detailed ways of listening to songs. So the first thing you can do on a detailed level is identify what instruments you're hearing. You kind of have to have a little bit of knowledge of instruments, drums, bass, guitar, pianos or keyboards, and uh, different types of singing. But still, listen to the song with your headphones and everything and say, oh, that's the drum part, that's the bass part, that's the keyboard part, look, there's a guitar. Well, here's some lead singing, here's some backup singing, right? So identify what instruments are making the music. The second thing you can do is once you identify these things is hum or sing or scat, as the jazz players say, what the instruments are playing. All right, so you hear a guitar going, dar, now, 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 you know, learn to vocalize that just the way I did just now. Um, so any kind of thing like that will be good. If you hear a good bass line, boom, 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 boom. Learn how to sing that part as you're listening to it. All right, and the third thing that can create more details in your listening is to beatbox the beat. That's right, in the 80s hip hop, it became popular to make the drum beat sounds with your mouth and vocalize them. So like, this kind of beatbox uh, sort of puts you in touch with the rhythm, right? And uh, one phrase that people like to use today is boots and cats, right? Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats, right? And it sounds kind of like a disco beat, right? Okay, so those are three things that can help you really get more detailed in your listening. And now, let's get into the advanced section of music listening. And in this section, we're gonna talk about the four parts of music. That's right, the music that we mainly listen to, the modern music, is Western music. And I don't mean country and Western, what I mean is music that's based from Europe and the Americas. And this music is usually piano-based or guitar-based. And you'll see what I mean in a minute 
when I talk about the four parts of music. So the first part of music is called melody. The second part is harmony. The third part is the bass line. And the fourth part is rhythm. Every song you listen to is going to have these four parts. Let's talk about these four parts in detail. Now, the first part of the four parts of music is called melody. All right, melody is the most recognizable part of a song. It is the song, the tune, the part that you sing. For instance, la 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 is the melody for happy birthday, right? And la 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 is the melody for twinkle twinkle little star. It's also our alphabet song in English. So that's two songs with the same melody. By the way, that was written by Mozart when he was just a little kid. So melody is the first part of music. The second part of music is harmony. And harmony is groups of notes together. And they play these notes uh, in the same kind of rhythm. Uh, some people call these uh, groups of notes chords. And when you play a bunch of chords, they call it progression or chord changes. All right, so harmony is the second part of music. The third part of music is the bass line. And the bass line has the low notes. Do, 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 do. All the low notes of the songs, they outline the chords, which means they play certain notes of the chords one at a time. And it locks in with the drums and the rhythm. All right, so that's the third part of music, the bass line. The fourth part of music is the rhythm, right? And rhythm is the beat, right? It's played by drums and percussion, but really rhythm applies to all four parts, the other three parts of music. So a melody has a rhythm, a melodic rhythm. The harmony, the chords and the changes have a harmonic rhythm. The bass line, the low notes, definitely locks in with the rhythm. And the rhythm is played by, like I said, the drums and percussion, and kind of dictates the whole thing. And by the way, the rhythm is the difference in styles of music. So you can play the same melody, harmony, and bass line with a different rhythm and have a different style. You can have the same chords and melody in a reggae song, and then play it with a country beat and have a country song, or play it with a pop beat and have a pop song, or play it with a rock beat and have a rock song. So the rhythm dictates the style of a song. And here are three more ways that you can experience music. One, go see any and all live music. That's right, doesn't matter if it's the local band down at the local bar, or if it's a big production at the Hollywood Bowl, or anything in between, go see live music. And if you can, meet and greet the artists afterwards and make sure you thank them for their music making. An artist always really appreciates that. The second thing you can do to enhance your music experience is dance to live music. If there's a band playing, get out there and shake it and move. You can also learn to partner dance. I highly recommend this. Learn to swing dance, learn to salsa dance or cumbia dance, learn to do rockabilly jive dancing, any kind of partner dancing, learn to do it. It'll enhance your social life and your experience with music. And the third thing you can do to experience music more fully is to learn to play a few songs on an instrument. Uh, pick up a guitar, pick up a keyboard or a piano, uh, learn something on the bass or on the drums, learn how to play something, uh, just a few songs. You don't have to be a professional or anything unless you really want to, but learn a few songs and this will enhance your experience with music. All right, I hope that these tips about songs, listening, and enjoying live music really help you deepen your experience with music that you love and listen to. I'm Emiliano, El Maestro, and this has been your music lesson.